Hello, Hank Kuiper here from Boats on Wheels. Uh, since we became dealers for Buckley Yacht Design, we've had a number of questions about the construction methods used to make their innovative trailer sailor, the BTC-22. So we took the opportunity, when it was safe to do so, to have a look inside their factory down in Southampton and to spe specifically to learn about the innovative resin infusion process that they used, which makes the boat so stiff and so light. So this little film is about that process. But let's start with the beginning, the preparation. First of all, the mould needs to be prepared. So what you see here is the mould of the BTC-22 being given a treatment so that the hull will actually release from the mould once the gel coat has been cured. Once the two gel coats have been applied, then Buckley strengthened the area behind the gel coat layer with some chop strand mat, uh, which is mixed with dry powder, in order to um, ensure that all of the vinyl ester resin is absorbed. So making a very resin rich layer behind the two gel coats. The next uh, items to be put into the hull are the foam core, which is then sandwiched in between four layers of 600 gram quadriaxials. What quadriaxials are, I'll let Tommy Buckley of Buckley Yacht Design explain. So this is the 600 gram quad. So if you look on this side, you can see that the pattern's going like this. And if you look really closely, you can see the UD strand running through here. Oh yeah. Now it's called a quad because it has four different directional weaves. So yeah. we've got one going this way. We've also got the UD strand going this way. We've got one going that way. And if you turn it around, You've got ones going at uh, 45 degrees, so you're, you're biased. So that is probably one of the most strongest cloths. Because you find that biaxes tend to have more flex, flex in them, um, whereas you find that 090s are a lot stiffer. But then if you're trying to go around objects, a 45 will drape better. It'll be easier to get around there with resin. Um, whereas, you know, obviously a 090 so, so to have something like this, you're sort of combining all the best, best bits. So it's a really good, very good cloth. Um, but sandwiched in between the four layers of quadriaxials is the PET foam core. Now that's actually a 10, 10 mil core. Um, it looks like this. And it's actually made of recycled plastic bottles. Um, within that foam core, you can also see there's a, there's a whole load of holes that go through, all the way through. And basically, as part of the infusion process, the resin gets sucked into these holes. And once, obviously, it's hardened, then these holes act, effectively act like mini rivets making the, the hull even stronger and, and stiffer. So now you know what materials go into the hull, um, I'll let Tommy Buckley explain how the actual infusion process works. We're now doing a thing called the debulk ahead of the resin shoot. Um, so what we're doing is we've, we've put this uh, um, vacuum bag on and it's all held together. Uh, the vacuum integrity is in this black tape. Um, <laughs> Um, and then once, once we've got a good bag, i.e. we've got a good debulk, um, we're going to put the resin hoses in yeah. into, the, into the yellow pads on yeah. top of the grey. Those are the ports in. And um, yeah, we're going to open the valves and, and resin the fuser. The resin's going to go in here and in there. And then the pad will follow these lines. And they'll literally punch, punch them in through the bag. A slower than inhibited catalyst, yeah, um, just because we want maximum, maximum maximum working time. So, the working time we're getting with this resin is about an hour and a half to two right. hours, depending on temperature and catalyst amount. So 
once the resin is fully cured then obviously the rest of the hull can be assembled um, as you'll see in these next few photos. And that concludes today's film. Um, hopefully you've enjoyed it. Please hit the like button if you have. Um, and if you keep an eye on this channel, then you'll probably see some more films appearing in the very near future. Look forward to seeing you soon. Bye-bye.